What is up guys, it is Ben. I'm coming at you with another video today. It is a nice rainy Saturday here in Indiana. It is 73 degrees though, um, beautiful day yesterday. I was able to get my summer wheels put on, which you guys have probably seen in a video before, which are a 20 by nine fuel tech wrapped in a Nitto 420 tire. So um, got those put on last night, got the truck washed before the rain came in. And um, so today I'm gonna go out and wash the tires and wheels that came off the truck. They had like, truck had 20,000 miles on it when I bought it. Um, it's got 23,000 on it right now. Um, wheels on the inside, I don't think have ever been touched. They're pretty nasty, a lot of brake dust. So we're just gonna clean those up, um, ceramic coat them, put a little tire shine on them and uh, put them in storage for the winter and hopefully not have to bring them out until maybe November, December, I'm hoping. So. Uh, we're actually under our uh, COVID-19 um, quarantine stay in right now. So uh, definitely not a whole lot going on. So hope you guys can follow along. Gonna do some product showcases and um, hope you guys can just follow along and enjoy this video. So I was just telling you guys, I got these wheels put on last night and these are the black wheels that came off that black 17 that I had and Honestly, I almost kind of like these wheels on this truck a little better just because they don't clash as bad with black on black. Um, you can see a little bit more detail in the wheels and those kind of things, but definitely very, very happy with how this truck looks. It looks 100% different, a whole lot better. I did not like the wheels on it before, but they will definitely do. For very happy with this. Thing was just clean yesterday. As you can tell it is wet and the roads are nasty. Can never keep these things clean enough. Here are the wheels that came off the truck. They're like an 18 inch. Nice like uh, painted inside on these accents and like machined aluminum out here. Nice wheel, nice tires, definitely nice for a uh, winter setup here. But definitely like the tires on the truck a little better right now. But we'll go ahead and get these things cleaned up, keep them looking nice. It drives me nuts seeing all that nasty road grime on the inside of these things. So I'll just fill a bucket up with soap, um, wash the outsides as usual, then flip them over to the back side, put a little tire and wheel cleaner on them, scrub the tires real good, and uh, follow along. Two wheels done here. These two wheels have the cleaner kind of setting on the inside of the wheels. Trying to saturate them so I can wash them a little bit easier. These are the two that have not been touched yet. And these are the two that have been. You can tell they've definitely brought back a really nice painted surface here. Um, I was kind of like picking off some little pieces that almost looked like tar that kind of got stuck on the insides of these wheels as it was driving down the road and I'm trying to pick that off the best I can before I put the coating on them. But uh, that's one thing, one reason I recommend you should ceramic coat your wheels is for the fact that if they do get brake dust or rust from the rotors or anything like that or uh, tar from the road stuck on them, it definitely won't stick and won't etch the paint near as bad as it was if they were uncoated like these ones were. So that is one of the reasons I highly recommend ceramic coat on all your painted surfaces. So I've just got these wheels all washed up and dried. I took a like a clean microfiber towel and just dried them inside and out before I apply the ceramic coat, make sure the surface is completely dry, no water droplets, anything like that. Um, if these had been anything but like my winter wheels, I would have taken like a clay bar to the inside of them and cleaned up the lips and all those kind of things. But since they're just winter wheels, we're gonna go ahead and throw some ceramic coating on here. So I will show you what kind of coating I'm using now. This is a ceramic coating I'm using. I've used it on a, a couple customer cars. It is the CarPro C Quartz. Um, 
I've used this on a new Genesis and I used it on a newer uh, Challenger for a guy that I did a, a paint correction and ceramic coat on. Got a little bit left over between those two. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on these wheels. I'll go ahead and order a, I've used two different kinds. I've used Chemical Guys and I've used this Car Pro. Um, I honestly really, really like this Car Pro stuff. It's really user friendly. Um, I think it holds up really nice and the customers that I have done it for have been really really pleased with the results and then i'm using that i'm using just a clean green microfiber towel to apply it with and taking one of these big plush chemical guys rags to uh, buff it off with here Just got these wheels all finished up and ceramic coated insides and outs of them. It is just now starting to rain a little bit, but with every ceramic coat video, everybody likes to do the uh, water test. So I've got a little water in one of my old uh, Adams Polish's uh, shampoo bottles. That will be absolutely perfect for what we were looking for. Just keep the insides of these wheels protected from brake dust and tar and uh, rust from the rotors and any kind of dirt and debris that comes off the road. So it is getting ready to come down pretty good with the rain. So I'm gonna get these things back inside and down in my little storage shed and hopefully we will not see these wheels until uh, just before the first snowfall, hopefully here in about maybe November, December, hopefully. So we just beat the rain and just started with another downpour again today. I need to get the wheels back down in storage. Hopefully we won't see those things till November or December. Um, if you guys drop a comment below, let me know if you guys keep your aftermarket wheels on all year round, or if you put some OEM stocks back on like I do. If you leave them on year round, let me know what part of the country you guys live in. Let me know kind of what the winters look like and those kind of things. Or if you live in the Midwest like I do and you leave your aftermarket wheels on, let me know why. Um, I had a set before and I left them on year round and I got this new set of fuels and I just decided that I was going to put kind of a street tire on them and uh, take them off in the winter time and try to keep them as nice as I could. So thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. They definitely help out a whole bunch and we'll catch you guys on the next video.